Hey everyone, welcome back here. I uh, wanted to kind of show you guys if you guys were interested in picking up the Lenovo Ideal Center stick, which is the, this is the 300 plus only because it comes with the multimedia remote. This is the 5902 package deal. So basically, there's not much in here. I mean, the box is pretty nice boxing. Looks it's got the typical orange that um, you see on the Lenovo kind of stuff. So let me just quickly unbox this real quick. You know, basically, this is, um, as you know, the, these uh, Intel has inspired these uh, sticks for manufacturers to come up with. Uh, Lenovo's got some, Intel's got some. So they're, you know, kind of coming out. Basically, what it is, is it's a computer on a little stick that you can connect to any HDMI, HDMI monitor. So basically, that converts into a computer. And the nice thing about this is if you want to basically see there's not much in here it's all box here uh, it's just like if you want to create a multimedia center these these work perfectly for that because you can keep, keep it on your TV let's say you wanted to watch Netflix or any of these shows that are uh, I know you can use the built-in from the uh, computer from the TVs nowadays or like a uh, Amazon stick or uh, Chrome stick and things like this but the advantage of this is if you have a multimedia center that you want to create, you, if you, this is running actually full Windows 10. So if you want to basically have your music and things like this, you can broadcast it either to your uh, stereo system and things like that. So that's the one of the advantages and also kind of keep your pictures and all this. Uh, just like a whole media center, that's what this is uh, very useful for that. You can create, uh, hook it up to a uh, NAS drive on your network, so this can be able to find all that. So it's great for what, and also the price is very good on this, especially because it's running Windows 10. It does have a uh, HDMI that is built in in on itself. I'll go over that. This, uh, let me put this in. We'll just basically go over. It's basically here's what you get. It's uh, it, you know, it's pretty good size as you can see here. It's not, and of course, it's nothing humongous. It does have a cover, and this is where it's got the HDMI that you would just normally plug it into your TV, so if you, or a monitor as well. So you basically plug it in and um, power it up here. Can you know you can configure it just like a Windows 10 machine. Uh, it's got the micro USB charging port here. It's got full USB 3.0, I believe, on this. Uh, full size. I'll look at it. And I'll put it in the show notes. But I, I know I'm pretty sure that this is a 3.0. That's a full size USB. Here it also has a slot for a micro um, SD card. Here, let me see if I can zoom this in for you guys. Uh, I don't know if I'll catch it. It's kind of hard a little bit on the uh, video here. It's a little on the blurry side. So you know, just uh, I'm trying to get my lenses here fixed up for you guys but you know hopefully that doesn't uh, affect the uh, focusing and then here it's got an actually it's got a small tiny little fan in there you can see the uh, ventilation there but you can't see the the fan in there but you can hear it when it you know turns on in the back is basically there's nothing there's just the uh, all the stickers and everything that pertains to it and that's how basically that's all there is to it so that's nice. The other thing you can do with this is uh, if you travel and you want to, you can put in your uh, briefcase or a pocket or anything connected to a TV at a, at a hotel, run your applications, uh, remote back into the office. You can upgrade this to Windows Pro if you wanted to. And you have a full access to a Windows machine while you're out and traveling and you don't have to worry about anything else. Uh, any computers. There's just a start guide in here and uh, kind of like a welcome, you know, just uh, brochures. And in here you'll find a box that actually contains all the, the remaining items here. And I'll show you guys what else you get. So, you know, this is something before you buy, you wanted to see what it has. So I'm kind of going over this so you guys can see. It does have, it does, they do provide the uh, wall charger which is pretty nice because it's basically uh, a small charger and it does have, uh, let me see, I believe it is um, very tiny but I can see it's a 2 amp output and it looks like it's a 
6.3 amp input so it does have 5 5 volt 5.2 volts out with 2 amps so it's sufficient pretty good charge for it they provide a um, extension uh, HDMI cable so if this is not able to fit in behind the USB connection to see where your monitor or TV and there's you know because sometimes you have other devices in there so basically you put this in here and then then you connect this in the uh, USB and then you can just uh, put it on the side of the TV or however you want in the back and again they do provide a micro USB cable I'm not gonna do it but here you go you know this end goes to the charger and basically this end will go to the micro USB port here which will oops, charge it up and actually I've actually have had good luck when I've been testing these out um, if your TV has uh, a, a USB port I actually have had good luck and with on actually plugging this in and it's able to power this up maybe I'll give it a shot here and I'll show you guys uh, just kind of like show you guys that it does work and they also this is very nice they do provide a um, what it is is a clip that basically you slide your um, stick here your your computer stick and you can two-way tape here and you can uh, stick it on the back of the TV or your monitor which is nice and then uh, it doesn't dangle down when especially when you have this uh, extension cable here because normally if you didn't then you won't need this because you'll go directly behind the uh, monitor or TV so let's uh, move this aside Oops. put that there and then we'll take a look at the keyboard just kind of show you guys uh, what else. What, this is pretty nice that they, they've included. It looks like a nice keyboard. It does have like an optic uh, mouse there as well in there. So let's uh, open this up here and we'll see this. Uh, and, I, and as a as the writing of this, uh, you can pick these up like at the Microsoft store for I think it's I believe 129. That's what they're selling these on there. Uh, I not too sure if that's a set price or what that is, but I believe they're about 129. Uh, as you can see, it's, it is it see it's palm size multimedia remote with backlit keyboard for connecting computer to TV. So again, this is nice when you connect this to your. Uh, TV and you can you know just create a multimedia center with this I don't know if you guys back remember back in the days uh, you had to hook up a you know kind of create like the small Apple uh, computers that you were using that for as a media center now it's actually much easier and more efficient with one of these um, it does uh, require it says XP 7 Vista 8 um, it doesn't say Windows 10 but I know it should be compatible with Windows 10 there should be no problem with this as well funny thing is uh, they're still labeling things with Microsoft Windows XP even though it's uh, been discontinued so uh, that's just interesting to see that and in here in the box of course you get the uh, remote with the little uh, USB transmitter or actually receiver as you can see here and that's where you would basically put that oops slide that over you basically would put this on here like this as you can see there and that would take care of that and then you would just basically use the optics here as a mouse pad to scroll around and of course this is the keyboard tab page up music up volume it's got right here left and right click left right space bar these, these keys are are small but I don't know guys if you guys remember that Blackberry uh, kind of reminds me of the Blackberry keyboard even though they're small they're lifted up at a um, I don't know if you can see that kind of like in a bubbly fashion so it, that in a way gives you the good uh, way of even though they're small that you can make a mistake of pushing some other ones as I'm pushing the letters I am pushing I can see that um, I won't have no trouble pushing those at all and then here in the back it does have a uh, on and off light so basically that looks like it's nothing automatically so I guess you would have to switch it on to give you the light and in here it looks like 
it's got it looks like it does show like a storage and then of course for the battery so let's go ahead I'll go ahead and put the batteries in I'm just gonna see so you guys it does have the brochures there I'm not gonna open those up so let's go ahead and get this batteries in here and it does show you which way they go so it looks like they both go facing up this way uh, now this one actually goes in this way so let's go ahead and hit that as you can see that powers it up so maybe that is only for but it does show an icon for lighted I don't know if that should be the lighted keyboard okay here we go this is the light showing here for light here so far I don't see it turning on so we'll go ahead and leave that in there close that back up as you can see that let me switch it on and off and see if um, maybe you have to hold that down or it might there it is as you can see here you do have to hold it down and then you do get the lighted keyboard let me uh, kind of dim down the light here as you can see there so you know in a dark room that should be plenty uh, of light see that's off there you hold it down and there you go and then you let it go so that lights up that the keyboard so that's that's pretty nice there so that's good on there so let's go ahead and I'll, I'm gonna go ahead and I'll, let me move all this stuff here and I'll, you know again this is a very nice I mean for what it is this the build quality you know it's just plastic so it, it's solid nothing bending or anything they provide everything that you need so that's nice of it so I'll go ahead and maybe I'll just hook it up here just to boot it up just so you guys can see but I'm not gonna configure this uh, uh, I just want to go over this uh, ideal stick here this is the 300 plus they do have a version that does not include the uh, keyboard uh, so you can maybe pick that up even cheaper uh, without the keyboard so uh, but in this case I'm just testing this out just kind of before you buy interested in what it looked like uh, let me pause this and I'll hook this up really fast for you guys all right I'm back here I went ahead and plugged it in here in the side of the the monitor here so we'll go ahead and let me uh, power this up really fast here so that should turn it on and then as you can see this uh, flashed on here so now I'm gonna go ahead actually I have the the micro USB plugged into the uh, USB part of the uh, monitor here so we're gonna move this a little bit down again I'm not gonna I just want to show you guys you know just powering it up so you just uh, to turn it on you just basically push this button here and that would actually power that up and being that this is should be already connected so um, hopefully when it boots on there I just have to switch it over to uh, the right port here or the right source so let me see if I can get that through here really fast without the remote uh, let's go here Oops, source right now I was trying to get my HDMI I believe might be on one here yes there it is as you can see here it is uh the toy kind of booted up here and so we got a red screen here so let me uh, shut it down again I'm gonna hold the button power button here on the side and I'm gonna go ahead and power it back up something must have happened it could be maybe again I've got it through the USB port uh, as you can see here hopefully uh, let me see if you guys can catch uh, there's got the Lenovo there as you can see there so I'll let this uh, boot up and then um, as you can see here it's got the little turning wheel from Windows as it's trying to turn on. <clears throat> Let me see. Maybe what I'll do is uh, I'll see if I can lift this up a little higher for you guys, so you guys can kind of get an idea of what's going on here. Yeah, maybe it's just uh, it's just kind of rebooting itself. So I do probably need to power this up. As you can see, there it's a. Uh, well, actually, maybe it's not. It's maybe going through the whole 
uh, process on there. I'm going to bring it back down a little bit for you. So, you know, if you guys, you know, were interested in wanting to, again, create a multimedia, uh, use your sound tunes and everything, um, you can purchase this. So basically, this is the whole kit. Uh, this is the ideal center stick 300 plus with the multimedia remote in 5902 so um, That's basically what it is um, As you can see here uh, Let me see if you guys can follow this. I got the mouse going here. So, you know, it's the optics here Seems to be very kind of responsive um, it, it, it does say it, it does want to do a recovery as you can see here only because I think uh, like it, was, it got me that red screen and I believe maybe it might not be enough power. So I'm not going to mess too much with this. Again, I, my idea here, my purpose was just to show you guys the ideal stick here. Hope this helps. Uh, thanks for watching.